So my question to you guys is, have your parents ever been blamed or we'll even say it to the positive part or credited for the actions that you did? I wanted to say my mother, my mother was blamed for um, be, my teen pregnancy. I'm a teen mom. Mm -hmm. I got pregnant when I was 15 and I had my son when I was 16. So I spent my 16th birthday pregnant mm. and my mother got put through the ringer. Mm. My father's family just <laughs> tore her up and, you know, neighbors, I live, I'm from the projects. So you got, you can't do nothing. Everybody mm -hmm. sees everything. Everybody's talking about you, whether you're doing good or bad. They just have something to say all the time, you know. But um, that was a rough time for my mom. Gotcha. You know, coming home pregnant, and, and it's not like, it's not like she didn't talk to me. It's not like I come from a, a household where, I wasn't taught about the birds and the bees. You know, it's just I think it's just outside influences. You know, sometimes you know. Um, when you're a young person, when you're a teenager, you just want to be down with everybody. And though your parents will teach you to be a leader and not a follower, sometimes you end up being a follower and you get yourself caught up, you know? So yes. I got myself all caught up in a <laughs> and I became a teen. Well, I did okay, though. I did okay. The mother instincts kicked in right away. Thank God. Mm -hmm. You know? And They're my I'm kids. But, but she got blamed. She got, yeah. you know. They, they, they dragged her through the mud for that one. And it's a it shame a that time. they, it's something that you did and mm -hmm. had nothing to do with your mom. Your mom wasn't no. there when you were She didn't that. raise me that way. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't. And then your mom you know? gets blamed because you get pregnant at an early age and it's just not fair. It's and really I think not that's what fair we do. Yes. I think that's what we do as human beings. You know, we're so quick to judge. I think now, cause I'm older, um, I have a relationship with Christ. And I see things differently now, even like when it comes to judging people, it's like, you know, if you're going to judge, judge justly, yes. you know, if you have never walked in those shoes, don't judge it. Cause yes. you don't know. You don't you know. know so that, you, yeah. You, you just, you really don't know until you're actually put in that situation. Like, Oh snap, what am I going to do? And then we forget about the people we judged before that situation. Cause now we find ourselves in the same situation or even worse. Exactly. You know? So, um, judging is not good, you know, so that's anybody great. out here that suffers from judge, judge, <laughs> don't be gotta, a judge, you guys, if yeah, you don't, if you clean didn't go to school up. for it, if you ain't go to school to be a judge, I don't want you no judges. For real? <laughs> <laughs> so, Jessica, you had something that you wanted to share. Thank you, Lori, so much for sharing that. But like I said, like you said it right. If you ain't go to school, listen, don't be a judge unless you walk in those shoes. <laughs> Go ahead, Jess. That was like the perfect segue for me. So um, just a little bit of like setting up my story. The Indian culture has like a less than 10% divorce rate. So even though divorce is like not like that surprising here in the US, it's like completely unheard of in India and in the Indian culture, even here in the US. So I'm I went through a divorce and my parents were so embarrassed. Oh, wow. And, and, but it wasn't because like for, uh, they didn't like punish me or it wasn't like anything that I did, but mm -hmm. all the Indian like women would talk about my family because of what I was going through. So there was like a lot of judgment um, and there was, and it took, they even took it like a step further. Cause my sister is married. She's pregnant, has a kid already lives in this huge house, like great in-law family. Right. So then they like took it a step further and like compared me to my sister. Oh yeah. Um, That'll happen. Yes. Because <laughs> the community is so small mm -hmm. in a way, like it's small. There's tons of Indians here in New York, New Jersey, but like, the community we knew, it was all coming back to us too. So gotcha. it, I felt bad for my parents, but then they like felt bad for me and ended up bringing us closer actually, because they were the ones who were pushing the divorce on me. I was hesitating for months and months. I hesitated. Gotcha. Um, and they were like, why are you not done with this relationship and this marriage yet? Like you needed to be done a long time ago. So, um, Ironically enough, that judgment brought us even closer. So, I mean, it kind of worked out for me, but at the end of the day, I think 
there's still a lot of cultures that that judginess and gossip is just not gonna like go away until we take a stand against it and we say this is no longer okay absolutely and the right i agree on, yeah the pressure was on because you like in your culture they just don't divorce so not only did you have to deal with it your family had to deal with it too and then a step further they're sitting there saying oh look at your sister like how could you be the one getting a divorce what they want you to stay miserable is that what they wanted i mean so what i found out later on is that like there's so many other women in my shoes that actually went through a divorce, but it's like all hush hush. No one talks oh. about it. So like, okay. I'm not the only one. There's tons of other women, um, but no one talks about it. And so like, I've actually created a group of like Indian women who are going through this or have been through it to help each other and to dissipate all of this judgment and to quiet awesome. all the older generation down and say like, this is not okay anymore and that we need to support each other. That's good. That's really good because like you actually, look at you going a step further and she said, there okay, said this, okay. And I don't want someone else going through this. So that's really good that you did that because there's going to be other people after you. There are people before you that went through this. There's going to be, be people after you that goes through this and you're just helping them. So yeah. that is wonderful. And I love it. 